okay, we can proceed with our with our all hands meeting. So good afternoon again to everyone, um, and uh, thank you again for for dropping by for this week's all hands meeting. Now this is a special all hands meeting because this will be the all hands meeting just before our Holy Week break. So after today, uh, pretty much there's going to be a pause in all of our academic operations. And this is based on the original calendar that we have. Now, for today, our agenda is going to be pretty packed, um, but we'd probably divide it into three general sections. The first section, we'd like to provide everyone an, an update on the current status of what has been happening in the university since our last All Hands meeting. And then on the second portion, we'll talk about changing gears. I mean, at this stage, we've been three weeks into the quarantine. We, we still have one more week left or so. Uh, a lot of us uncertainty is still in the air. And in spite of everything, um, we'd like to be able to share with you some adjustments in our, in our approach, in our paradigm, in order for us to make even more progress in spite of the limitations that we have right now. And lastly, we open the floor for comments and questions that any of you might have. Uh, later on, uh, we will let you voice out your comments and questions. If you are uh, a little bit shy, I'm going to interrupt, but uh, your, your microphone is a, is a bit distorted, the noise. Your sound is a little bit distorted. Uh, may I know who's this? It's me. Anthony, student number one nine one zero one nine. Okay, thank, thank you know, for you know that. Uh, yeah, it is. It is distorted. Okay. Um, let me fix a few things first. Is this better, or is it still distorted? Okay. Ha ha. Can you guys hear me? Or it's still distorted? Okay. Yeah, so it's not distorted it's anymore. Okay, thank you very much for that feedback. Okay, um, let's proceed. Um, as I was saying, if you have any other comments or questions uh, during the, or towards the end of our meeting, um, you feel free to to voice them out if you're a little bit uh, shy or you're a little feeling a little bit apprehensive and voicing it out, um, please uh, type your questions on the chat window uh, as provided for by Google. Um, okay. Now, just a recap: our last all hands meeting was on on March 23, so that was a Monday. That was a few days ago, and since then we've had well not that many updates in terms of, of pronouncements or advisories of that sort, both from our government and, and from the university. I think what's key to note is that last Tuesday, or last week Tuesday on the 24th of March, uh, there was a special session in Congress and they, they passed uh, the, the law to actually give the executive department uh, special powers or special authorities to address the current crisis. Um, we call this the Bayanihan Act. The complete name is actually Bayanihan to Heal as One Act. Okay. And on Wednesday, uh, after that, um, there was an internal advisory by our Human Resources Department uh, cascading or, or sharing uh, some sort of a survey uh, asking on the, on the health status of the employees. Okay. And Last March 26, we had a, a very key announcement as regards uh, academics. So there was an advisory on distance learning. So uh, it was a pretty long advisory. Uh, the gist of it is that, uh, number one, we will maintain uh, our academic calendar as planned. So we have to make sure that all academic activities, whether we will do it online or not, we have to be done. Uh, according to the original plan. Uh, secondly, we have to be a little bit more sensitive with the conditions of each and every student. And as such, uh, the recommendation is to actually move everything 
to a distance learning format, uh, primarily in an, an asynchronous format, so that people will not be uh, disadvantaged if ever they find themselves in a difficult situation. Also, there was a follow-up in all the departments to actually provide what is known as a hotline number for every department. Um, we actually provided that information. Uh, at the same time, I guess everybody uh, knows their their on how on how you can reach us as well. And last week, um, we've had a message from the president. Uh, it was a very short message, uh, trying to communicate to everyone that things are a little bit okay. Uh, we had our department meeting and then we had to do a special call tree drill. This time it's a full drill with all of the students as well as the employees as well. Now moving into earlier this week, um, we've actually seen some obituaries um, being shared. So last, uh, last Sunday, a part-time faculty of the School of Management passed away because of the coronavirus. Uh, two days later, uh, the father of one of the full-time faculty members of the School of Economics also passed away. Uh, there were not that many announcements, so one of which would have been the deadline for the confirmation of slots for incoming freshmen. It has been extended. Uh, typically, it's around this time where in the university would like to get a clear idea on how many freshmen will actually enter the following school year. But this time around, given the circumstances that we're facing right now, so the university announced uh, an extension for, for, for the deadline of the confirmation. And then uh, other few more announcements. The department has its usual checkpoint meetings. Um, we had a Mancom advisory on the employee's health status. So in general, uh, there were there were, in general, everybody seems to be in good shape. Everybody's contactable. Um, not to, to create any sort of panic, um, it has been disclosed that there was one confirmed case uh, from the employees. Uh, and it has been mentioned that that particular employee is already recovering based on the medical assessment that was provided to that employee. Okay. Uh, truth to be told, uh, I don't even know the identity of that employee. I can be certain as well that it is not from our department, or from the ISD community. And well, just today we've had a couple of announcements um, for the employees, the release of early release of salaries for the full-time employees, and some new, new schedules for for training uh, faculty members on asynchronous learning design. Uh, bottom line, uh, what, what I did not include in, in this in this timeline of activities is that in the last couple of weeks, there has been some uh, efforts in a personal capacity to support uh, contractual employees of the university. Uh, as you know, um, the, the principle for contractual employees is no work, no pay. Uh, and a lot of our contractual employees are, are really uh, in need. Um, given the situation that there is no work, no pay. So a lot of the faculty and staff at the university, the full-timers, uh, band together, organized uh, uh, some sort of a fund drive to actually support uh, these employees. And based on their latest update, we've been able to fund around 75% of the targeted amount. And then lastly, we have our special department meeting just a while ago, and then we, we have our all hands meeting now. Now, just to give you a recap, I'll share with you details of the call tree that we conducted, um, call tree drill that we conducted last week. And essentially, this is the call tree that we are following. Uh, moving forward, we will still maintain this call tree. Uh, and, 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 I, and I suppose all of you are aware of this. Now, some, some details, since it was a full call tree drill, uh, it, it started 4.30 in the afternoon last week. Um, we had some pretty interesting numbers, so to speak. Uh, I'm happy to note that we've reached almost 100% for everyone. Um, we had two missing responses from, from last week's drill, and both of them are coming from the MIT students. So, But then we've been able to do a follow-up and everybody has been accounted for already. Uh, 
overall, uh, I'd like to say that uh, everybody is safe. Um, everybody has mixed uh, experiences as regards their connectivity. I think that is to be uh, expected somehow. Uh, and then this is something that we've also foreseen in the previous weeks. So I, I'm hoping and, and I'm sure that your faculty, your teachers, your faculty in charge would have been uh, aware of your own specific situations as far as connectivity is concerned. What would be interesting to note would be the location distribution of the people right now. Now, if you can see this slide, uh, most of the students are coming from Pasig, Quezon City, Mandaluyong. So that's top three locations. However, those highlighted in yellow, uh, these are the students who are currently outside of Metro Manila. So they actually left before the community quarantine was actually in effect. Uh, we've taken note of who these students are and we'll make sure that we factor that in when we are going to resume our classes uh, sooner or later. For the MIT students, this is the location distribution. Um, practically all of them are in Metro Manila. And for the employees, um, we do have one a uh, faculty member who is currently based in Bulacan right now. But everybody else are, are, are all currently located in Metro Manila. Now, just a reminder of the escalation path. Although the advisory on distance learning uh, reminded uh, everyone, particularly the students, to document every concern, every, every issue that they've raised to their faculty, um, so the protocol there is to make sure that there is an email uh, and that the program director or the department chair is copied in that email. Uh, at the same time, just be, just be mindful of the escalation path. Um, I assure you this will be the fastest way on how we can resolve things. I'm always in touch with the department, with the employees uh, on a regular basis. Okay, And we discuss very specific issues as well on how and how we can actually address those specific issues. Uh, nevertheless, uh, please keep this escalation path in mind. Uh, I'm happy to note as well that so far this has been respected. So just, just keep on doing this and this will still be in effect moving forward uh, throughout the, the remainder of the community quarantine period. Now, I'm gonna go to the second portion of, of, our, of our all hands and um, this is, uh, us revisiting or, or or taking a look at our guiding principles. Earlier, we were looking at three things. We were looking at safety, we were looking at non-discrimination, and we were looking at rapid recovery. But given that we've been already in this situation for three weeks, almost four weeks running now, um, I'd like to say that we've been able to recover to the best of our abilities. So, now it's time to shift our mode of operations, if you may. Not really a big or major shift, but really try to realign ourselves from rapid recovery into what I would call a restoration of our mission, the mission of the university. And the, 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 at the heart of, of the mission of the university is actually to learn for personal development, making sure that people really are able to, to develop themselves in spite of the circumstances they find themselves in. So this is nothing really more than uh, some sort of uh, exhortation to get everyone to, okay, things are uh, trying to be steady. It's not the most ideal situation. Now's a good time for us to try and pick up the pace as far as our learning is concerned, as far as our research is concerned, for those of us who are involved in research as far as our consultancy or thought leadership in the industry is concerned, we slowly go back into that and slowly but surely trying to be a little bit more, more, more assertive, a little bit more active in this area. Okay. Of course, not forgetting safety and non-discrimination. Uh, definitely given that our situation is a public health crisis, safety will always be taken into consideration. 
uh, non-discrimination, particularly for academic activities, even if we're really trying to move into that space where um, we're, we're, we're speeding up, we have to make sure we catch up with what's, what's left of our academic calendar. Still, we have to keep in mind those who are still um, perhaps impeded by the current situation to participate fully in all of our academic activities. So at this stage, we're no longer in recovery. Uh, and now we're starting and starting slowly, uh, maybe not immediately, but starting slowly towards a restoration of what we should be doing already as a university, as a program, and as a department. Now, I'm going to share with you a few things, what to expect upon class resumption. Uh, after the community quarantine shall be lifted, okay, there are a few things that I'd like to share with you. Uh, specific details on how this would go about. Uh, we will uh, share that later on uh, in the next few days. But here are three things that you would expect us to, to do or to conduct as we resume our usual way of doing things, perhaps. Okay? The first one is we have to do our report to today's uh, protocol. Second, uh, uh, there has been some discussions uh, with respect to a special arrangement of our IT laboratories, particularly to cater to students who have had who, who have lab heavy uh, subjects, currently the same. And lastly, uh, the, the conduct of after action reviews, okay, how we can actually improve uh, and what to learn from, from our current experience in, in this situation. Now, report to base. Now, Again, this is upon the assumption that the community quarantine will be lifted. So therefore, mo movement is now unhampered. And as such, in order for us to make sure that we can really properly resume our class as well, we need to do what is known as a report to base protocol. It's very simple. Um, everybody, students, faculty, staff alike, are required to go to UAMP, required to go on campus. Uh, for the students, it's important that you report to, to me as the program director, okay? So that we can take note that you're, that you're actually able to go to campus, okay? And then we'll probably spend some time, it's not really a long interview, but I'd like to do a very quick debrief of how each one of you are at that moment, what might have been your your experience, okay, what are the things that you've realized that you'd like to raise to me directly? We would, I'd like to be able to do a, a, an individual debrief, okay, of, of, of everyone, not just students, but even employees as well. Okay? So we will have this report to base protocol. Now, the second uh, thing that you know, we'd like you to, to expect upon the resumption of process would be the special arrangements with our IT laboratories. Now, we've had some discussions, uh, Mr. Anthony, Saul, and I, uh, as regards how to go about with students having hands-on activities or having uh, lab-heavy subjects. So we've decided to allow the use of the labs outside of the scheduled class hours. Okay? And we may even consider extending the availability of the labs even beyond the business hours. So even at night, okay? We do have uh, MIT classes that are scheduled in the evening, so it is possible to actually have those labs open at the same time as well. Uh, however, uh, because we are extending or stretching the availability of our labs, uh, the required manpower to actually supervise the laboratories when they are available uh, will actually increase. Um, even before the quarantine uh, has been has been declared we have been working on a system in involving students who can become laboratory assistants um, but this was under the premise of scheduled class hours this time around we will, we will lift that uh, restriction uh, at the same time we can also use this opportunity as exceptional consideration for internship so for those of you who are about to graduate and you still lack hours to actually complete your internship requirements 
and you feel that it would be difficult for you to to actually be able to look for a company to fulfill those hours, we may be able to help you in that regard uh, through this special arrangement that we will be doing for, for the IT labs. And then lastly, this is something that um, I'd like to do, um, everybody can participate, would be the after action review. So these would be just FGDs or focus group discussions and try to see and learn from our experience during the quarantine period. Definitely, we've been happy to, to note new things. We've been able to deliver classes, uh, academic activities purely online, uh, having to, to connect each one uh, either on a synchronous basis or an asynchronous basis. We've also been looking for, we've been, we've been happy that we've been able to really leverage our technology well. At the same time, we realize that there are some, some challenges. Uh, we know that not everyone would have good, reliable connectivity. We know that uh, in terms of learning experience, um, this is completely different from the classroom setup that you guys might be familiar with. At the same time, we'd also like to look for opportunities, ways on how we can improve our usual way of doing academic activities and see how we can leverage technology more. Now, this is the purpose of the AARs or the action, after action reviews. So, and, and if you've been invited to actually participate in these reviews, uh, please, please, please do so right? and, and spend the time and be, be candid with, with your inputs so that all of this would actually for everyone's benefit. Right? Now, uh, before anything else, before I, I unleash you to the, to the holiday known as Holy Week. Um, I know the last three weeks or four weeks have been very, very difficult. And I'd like to take this opportunity personally to, to thank everyone. First of all, I'd like to thank the students, the BSIT and MIT students. I know that it has been a very difficult situation. I, I personally had to, it was quite an experience for me to really reach out to each and every student in both programs. Um, and I'm thankful for your cooperation. I'm thankful for your participation in a lot of the exercises that we've been doing. I'm thankful for your cooperation that you gave to your teachers as well uh, in order to, to make the situation work for everyone. Okay. Um, I'm also thankful for or for some of you who've been open, who've been candid to raise certain issues uh, to me about certain things. Um, and I, I've, I've appreciated the, the two-way dialogue that, that happened uh, during this last two, three weeks, four weeks. Okay. Um, I'd also like to thank the ITEC officers and the batch representatives um, who've been uh, working in, in a way uh, over time to try to see how we can get, engage everyone in the in the department okay, in terms of everyone all, all the students and also I'd like to thank everyone all the faculty members okay all, uh, who really made sure that we've delivered uh, the the courses we try to, to to move the needle as far as completions is concerned okay um, i'd like to thank both full-time and especially the part-time faculty members uh, the part-time faculty members um, given that they're part-time they're not really as connected to the universities the full-time faculty members but i've been appreciative of their commitment to still deliver in spite of the circumstances that we've been going to face i'd like to thank also in particular to our staff okay? particularly to Ms. Shirley, okay, to Mr. Sir Anthony, on looking at ways on how we can address the needs of the specific students. I know that Ms. Shirley was also contacting some of the other students, particularly the, the super seniors of the BSIP program and all of the MIT students as well. So, so thank you for, for connecting and then really reaching out for reaching out to them. So, um, you know, this is perhaps, um, this is not really the end of everything. I mean, we still have more than a week to go and things are a little bit fluid in terms of what's going to happen. But uh, at this stage, uh, some of you might think it's a bit early, but 
I'd like to be able to, to really express my gratitude for all the help and the cooperation that you've been, that you've been uh, giving, uh, the contribution to the, to, to the efforts that we're doing as a department. Okay. Um, yeah, thank, thank you very much. Thank you for that. Um, and that's pretty much what I have as far as updates are concerned. Um, I'm, I'd like to open the floor for, 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 for questions. Um, if you'd like to voice out your questions, you can unmute. Um, if you have, if you're a little bit shy in terms of, uh, of speaking up, okay, you can probably type your, your questions in the chat window. So, okay, I'm going to go through the the chat windows. Okay. Okay. Um, any any thoughts? Any comments? Any suggestions? Wow, this seems to be a quiet group. <laughs> well, <Anisa. laughs> Well, I'd also like to take the opportunity maybe to pass the ball to the faculty and staff. Um, is there anything that the faculty and staff would like to raise to everybody else? So maybe let's start. Yeah, great. Mr. Nan, you'd like to say something? Um. Uh, just just to um, echo the same sentiment that GP has uh, articulated uh, that you know all of you should I hope everyone stays safe I hope you all have a good holy week um, and for my students please be mindful of your deliverables uh, after holy week so uh, some of these things have been reiterated from an earlier session that we had. So just be mindful of those, stay safe, stay healthy. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Nam. Uh, Mr. Romel, do you have anything to say? Um, you're still on mute. Oh, hello, yeah. Hi, everyone. Again, uh, stay safe, everyone, please. And um, I've been uploading most of my slides in LMS and Canvas. So just make sure that uh, you'll be able to find time to uh, do it. It's a uh, synchronous thing, and it's there's no deadline for now because of our internet problem. So uh, just does it. That's it. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Sir Romel. Um, who else is in the call right now? Um, anyone from the faculty? Uh, Ms. Chuchi, uh, would like would you like to say something for 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 your students, perhaps? Ah, okay. So let's wait for her to. To unmute. <laughs> okay. There. Um, hello, everybody. I hope everybody's safe. Um, just keep calm. Do a lot of things that uh, can keep your mind off social media and keep your mind off a lot of worries. Sometimes they tend to do that too, but. Um, Everybody will get back into uh, your normal schedule. And as the, the new political personas out there keep on saying, the, uh, the new normal. This is uh, a new normal for me. Uh, but uh, hang in there. Everything will, will be better. Uh, all of your uh, worries in terms of your academe, it will get back into the new normal. Thank you. Keep safe. Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Chuchi. Thank you. Okay, um, well, maybe for some of the staff, maybe? 
Ms. Shirley, you'd like to say something? Ako? Ako? Yeah. Now, for dear students, please check your email. Uh, I sent an email uh, about your uh, subject deficiencies as of uh, second semester. Yun lang po. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Sir Anthony, you'd like to say something? Uh, just stay safe lang, uh, everyone. And then, uh, rapid na siya. So, continue lang. So, going back to normal lang. Okay. Uh, we also have in the call Sir Romy. Okay, uh, as most of you know, Sir Romy is currently on sabbatical this school year. Um, but he, it's good that he's also attending this this meeting with us. Do you have anything to say, Sir Romy? Sir Romy. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, thank you. Took me a while to unmute. Um, well, I don't really have much to say, just to tell everybody to keep calm, stay safe, and then uh, learn to pray and um, value the things that uh, you still have. Because uh, for those people who are sick, you know, they have a lot more problems than you. And perhaps your problems are big, but then it's not as they're not as big as those people who are sick or recovering. And um, that's it. Just get enough rest and then study well. Finish your requirements. This will pass. And uh, hopefully, you will go to the next level. That's it for everybody. Stay safe. Okay, thank you very much for that, Sir Rami. Okay, uh, last call for any questions or comments from, from the students, both from the BSIT students or from the MIT students. Would you like to raise anything? Okay. Um, well, okay, if there's none so far, uh, well, thank you very much for, for, for attending uh, uh, the All Hands meeting uh, today. Uh, and we hope that you guys have a good and fruitful early week in the days ahead. Uh, we'll inform you of other, uh, well, depending on the situation, depending on what's going to happen in the next few days, um, we'll probably do another all hands perhaps on Easter Monday. So that's on April 13, if I'm not mistaken. Um, um, but, but, but keep yourselves um, uh, up to date, keep yourselves uh, posted on, on, on the details for, for that. Um, hopefully by then things would have uh, started to be a little bit more relaxed. Um, Okay, and if you, you, you do find yourselves having to ask something, uh, feel free to, to raise your questions to me, to, to any of your faculty members as well. Okay, if I suppose there are no more questions, okay, thank you very much for attending. I'd like to return 20 minutes of your time again. Thank you. Uh, advanced Happy Easter to everyone and hope to see you around uh, soon. Okay, thank you very much.